Okay, my name is Kenny Beach, and get ready because I'm going to show you a few things about myself, and I'm going to let you know just what I do, what I am. And the desert holds many secrets, and today we find ourselves in White River Narrows, a remote place hidden in the vast stretch of Nevada's desert, known for its rugged beauty and mysterious petroglyphs. White River Narrows has been home to explorers for thousands of years. It's a place where the natural world feels untouched, but its quiet can still steer something deeper within. The petroglyphs etched into these rocks are reminders that people have passed through here, leaving behind their stories in stone. But these aren't the only stories hidden here. This land speaks in whispers through the wind and the shifting sands and the silence. Here I hiked up to the top of uh, what they call Gas Peak and I spent the night. Um, it was a two day hike. And then I For those who may or may not be familiar with Kenny Veach, Kenny Veach was an adventurer who disappeared in 2014 while searching for a mysterious cave called the M Cave. Kenny described the cave as giving off a strange energy that made his body vibrate. And despite the warnings from friends and family, he set out to find it again. But this time, he never returned. Some believe Kenny may have met with danger. But others wonder if he simply chose to vanish into the desert. The lure of the isolation, the quiet solitude, Perhaps Kenny wasn't just lost, but hiding, seeking something only the desert could give him. I try to get a close up of him, but he walked away. Just so you guys understand, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And like I said, I'm hundreds of miles from <clears throat> anything. The arrow points the mine shaft where Kenny Veach went missing. 23.5 miles, Screech Air Force Base. 60.87 miles, Area 51. 94.44 miles is what I believe is where I found Kenny Veach. This is as straight as the crow flies. And I have not passed anybody's camp, any vehicles for at least... 11.30, four hours. And this guy came out of nowhere. And like I said, I think that's Kenny Beach right there. I'm gonna record this because I want you to hear what I say in the clubs of this guy that looks like Kenny Beach. He's just got really long hair and a beard. Right. Sure you don't need nothing? I'm so good dude. Are you sure? I'm parked on the side of the road like half a mile ahead. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> Okay, you're good with water and food? Okay, man. Okay. All right, bud. Take care. Be careful. Hey, you too. Still go over another ridge and then go all the way down uh, a big crevice that's real narrow and gets kind of scary. Uh, and uh, I'm looking for a cave that I, I found and I didn't have a I didn't have a sidearm when I was here before. And something about that cave just spooked me out of all the caves I've ever gone in. This one just made my body vibrate the closer I got to it. I'm so good, dude. I'm parked on the side of the road like half a mile ahead. I do appreciate it. There's literally tons of it in this bag. Oh. I'm from around here, so I'm all good. Right on. Hey, you too. Just like Kenny Veach. I know. Many of you are probably wondering why I didn't ask directly if he was Kenny Veach. In the moment, it felt like there was something deeper at play. And pushing for answers, it just didn't feel right. Maybe it was the isolation 
of being in the middle of the desert or just a strange vibe that surrounded the encounter. But even without asking, the resemblance was striking and it left me questioning. Could it really be him, Kenny Veach? I get it. It might sound unbelievable, especially since I didn't get a clear confirmation, but sometimes out here <laughs> in these remote places, things unfold in ways you can't predict. The desert has ways of keeping its own secrets, hiding them. And maybe that's what happened here. Maybe this is just supposed to be a mystery that's supposed to be not solved. What do you think? Could this man have been Kenny Veach? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank, and this is Driven by Adventure. We'll see you on the next adventure. I'm so good, dude. I'm gonna park on the side of the road like half a mile ahead. I do appreciate the literally tons of it in this bag. Oh. I'm from around here, so I'm all good. Right on. Hey, you too.